thought we played a really good game. Um, we've just back to back really good games that we've played. And um, I think that we all know what we're capable of <clears throat> as a team. And um, it's nice to put together a couple good games there and hopefully we can build off of it and uh, you know keep going in the direction that we all know we can in here. Could you talk about how much the mental break helps you the last few days? Uh, I just was more of a be able to work on my swing and uh, really credit to um, Varnes and Hinsky that took the time to um, put the work in with me. I think it shows how everybody wants the ultimate goal of the same thing and that's to do whatever we can to win that night. I come to the field every day and I always say that there's certain things that you can control and the two things you can control every day is how you go about your business and the type of teammate that you are and um, you know I come to the field every day and you know work hard and put the work in that needs to be put in and when the game starts whether you're in the game or you're not you're the same person and when you're in the lineup you uh, you do what you can to help the team win and when you're not you do what you help you do what you can to help the team win and Buck felt like it was right for me to play today and um, I was able to you know run into a ball but I mean we scored six runs I only drove in one we had really good at bats up and down the lineup and McGill threw the heck out of the ball and we're we won two games in a row so that's the ultimate thing this isn't about me or this isn't about a break that I took or me hitting a home run tonight this is about us uh, playing two good games in a row you know I think it starts with Nimmo. You, you feel like the guy never has a bad at bat. Um, he makes it hard on the pitcher every single time, and um, it just it's contagious. Um, Marte is doing what everybody knows that Marte is, you know, is capable of doing, and um, it just keeps going. I think it shows credit to when you have the best home run hitter in the big leagues um, that isn't in our lineup right now, um, and you got guys who just slide in and have good at bats and keep scoring runs and passing the baton to the next guy. I just think that that's, shows the type of guys that we have in this clubhouse. Um, you know, it's very easy to feel sorry for yourselves on the way we haven't been playing. And when you lose a guy like Pete, uh, you know, you can just feel sorry for yourself and, you know, talk about why things happen to us. But I think that, you know, we are finding ways to punch back until, you know, instead of waiting for something to happen. The past couple of days, you know, we've made something happen. And I think that that's uh, a credit to the guys in this clubhouse. Buck has mentioned how it can be difficult to experiment um, in game. Is there anything to be said for, you know, just the preparation off the field and how that can help maybe click in, you know, being away and not having to kind of go through, through that in a game? Yeah, absolutely. The big leagues is hard. Um, there's not a higher level of baseball than this uh, level. Um, Guys get paid a lot of money to get people out, and um, you know sometimes when you're searching for things, um, it's not a good place to do it when you're facing a guy on the mound. Um, so when you're able to just work in the cage and uh, clear your mind and be able to experiment things and maybe uh, you know try things that you wouldn't try before, um, you know it definitely helps. But the ultimate thing is when you get back on the field, there's no more experimenting or trying. It's you know competing and finding a way. Um, Nobody really cares how you feel. Um, the pitcher doesn't care if you feel good in the box, your mechanics are good or not. You just have to go out there and compete. And I firmly believe that, um, you know, you just you go through ups and downs. Sometimes the ups are a lot shorter than the downs. Um, but I think that, you know, when you've played this game for a little bit, if you keep going the way you're going, you look up at the end of the season and your numbers, you know, will be where they want to be.